Hi, welcome to GOC. Um, here's some tips for success from our Parent Advisory Committee. Um, these are parents who've had students at GOC for quite a few years. I've had students at GOC since their very beginning, 10 years ago, and um, we hope you have a successful school year. Hi, my name is Michael Britt. My daughter, Avery, has been at GOC for three years, and one of the things that, that she's used to her advantage is communicating with her teacher through email. Uh, emailing your teacher at GOC is just like raising your hand in a brick and mortar classroom. It's the way that you reach out to the teacher, uh, get your questions answered, uh, discuss any issues that you have. Uh, it's, it's perfectly fine to email them, to text them, to call them. The teachers at GOC are expecting that. That's part of their job is to communicate with the students this way. Uh, it's different than you might expect in a brick and mortar school where it seems like it might be odd to be calling the teacher, but here the teachers are expecting this, they're prepared for it, and it's one of the ways that your child can advocate for themselves, get what they need, uh, get what they need out of the instruction the best that they can, uh, perfectly acceptable and expected. So I encourage you to encourage your students to reach out to the, to the teachers in by text or email or calling them to resolve whatever they need. Hi, I have tip number two. My name is Jennifer Caldwell. I have a former uh, GOC student who started here 10 years ago, who is now at Georgia Tech, and I have a senior who um, is here this year. Um, my tip is to um, check in with your child so you can stay on top of their work. Um, it's very important that at the beginning of the week, you sit down with your child and their computer and kind of look up and see what they have for the week ahead. Know what days that they have tests, know if they've got projects coming up. Just be able to have a good overview of the week so that you don't plan things to do on a day that they might have an abundance of work to get accomplished. Uh, and before the week is out, Thursday or Friday, it's a good idea to go back again, have them bring their computer, sit down, talk about their grades that they have, uh, for the week on their assignments. Also look for any missing assignments that might have a zero in place. Uh, in addition, look for teacher's feedback. Because these may be opportunities for your child to resubmit an assignment and get some more credit on something that they didn't understand. If you can do it before Friday, Thursday or Friday, teachers are still going to be available to your student to be able to answer those questions, um, send an email, a text, or a phone call to the teacher and be able to get those assignments done and still receive credit on something that they might have turned in that was um, a problem or they didn't understand. So checking in is super important. Um, my name is Kristen Glauser and I am the mom of a recent graduate and a current ninth grader named Hayden. And my best tip is to um, touch base with your child every day on what their schoolwork is. And in our house, we call that check marks. Um, so every day we log into D2L and um, get the pacing charts out and we sit down and we mark off what's been done for the day. So there's a little check mark that appears um, when your child has looked at an assignment or done an assignment and um, that gives us an opportunity to hold him accountable but also to touch base on what he's doing, to look at feedback from teachers, to hear about what's going on at school and to answer any questions that he has. So, it's a great way to keep in touch with what he's doing. Hi, my name is Caroline Yerva. My daughter Tyler is a seventh grade student here at the GOC. And our top 10 tip would be to always have your student take notes. And this says a bunch of different things. Um, it, it makes her an active listener in the class. So she's listening and taking notes at the same time. It's helping her understand the main concepts better. It's actually also holding her accountable for her lessons. So I can kind of go back and say, hey, what did you do today? Look through her notes. And that gives me peace of mind knowing that she's actually listening and learning at the same time. And it's a great uh, guide for later on when she wants to go back and study for a big upcoming test. So always have your student take notes. It's a great, great tool here at the GOC and it definitely helps her a lot. Hi, I'm Melanie and I am the parent of Mackenzie, who is a eighth grader at GOC taking some ninth grade classes. That's our definition of flexibility. Flexibility is really important to frame. Otherwise, it just turns into chaos. So it's really great at GOC that the flexibility is there. Who is you, your student, your parents, your teachers, your staff? What is the curriculum at GOC? Those things are your framework. The flexibility is 
When, why, how, where. Those are all things that you can decide what you want to do. However, I, my tip here is understand what that flexibility is. Don't let it become chaos. Make sure you have your space, your time, your plan, and let it work. Hi, my name is Christine Austin, and not only am I an assistant principal here, but I am also the parent of a full-time elementary school student. And tip number six that I would like to share with you is to encourage your child to get involved at GOC. There is so much to do here at GOC for students, and it is really an awesome experience for them. So please, if you haven't already done so, encourage your kids to get involved and become a part of the OWL life. Hi there, my name is Maggie Walls. I have a fourth grader and a junior at GOC, and I've had two kids graduate from GOC. And my tip for you is to let your kids get involved. Encourage them to do theater, to do learning labs, to do all the cool virtual and in-person activities that we're gonna have this year, and really let them get connected and engaged. It's gonna help them be successful. Hi, Melanie again here with your tip lucky number seven. Read that GOC Owls every Thursday. It'll come to you by mail. It's on the website. The kids will have it in their homeroom on their front page. This is your guide to success. Everything you need to know about GOC, what's going on for that week, that month, that year, it's going to be in the Owls. Hi everyone, this is Caroline here again. I uh, just want to let you all know that we have an, e an email address, uh, GwinnettOnlineParents at gmail.com. Please feel free to reach out to us with, with whatever questions you have. We're always here to help and hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.